any of you remember watching this white supremacist beat on a black woman over a parking dispute? Well, charges are about to go up on him because he really was not a legal gun carrier. Am I surprised? You know what? Anybody that would slap around a woman, you would not think he would be, you know, smart enough to at least license a gun that he's waving around. But I guess in his case, <laughs> that high IQ just didn't kick in. So charges upgraded against white Dallas bartender caught on video beating black woman. So this came out today. Dallas police upgraded charges against the former bartender who was arrested for assaulting a black woman in a parking lot. Now, I, I still can't get over. This is a 30 year old, y'all. But I saw a video. He shaved off his beard and trying to look, pre uh, you know, presentable in court. It ain't working. 30 year old Austin Sheffield was initially charged with a class A misdemeanors. I don't know how you charged him with that. Dallas, y'all are almost as bad as Chicago. Of public intoxication, interference with an emergency call and assault. However, after an investigation, police added felony charges of aggravated assault charges with a deadly weapon and unlawful carrying of a weapon against Jeff Phil's reported CBS 11. So he was not even supposed to even have a gun. An additional warrant was issued for the charge of unlawful carrying, which Sheffield can turn himself in for. Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall told the local news station when the department was at why it took so long for felony charges to be added because Renee Hall sucks. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, look at how the Botham John case has been handled. Now this same chief of police is handling this. No wonder why he's undercharged and things are turning out the way that it is. The media and the community, this is Renee Hall talking, the media and the community need to understand this is a three-step process. Yeah, it's always some case with you. Initial arrests, investigation by our unit, then taking those facts and turning them over to the DA. We don't get to skip those steps just because someone wants us to. Renee, just do your damn job. You know, you undercharged this guy for what he did. During the attack, 24-year-old um, Ledejanik Lee Shuffield was recorded carrying a weapon. Witnesses uh, watched in horror as Shuffield punched a woman and slapped her cell phone out of her hand when she tried to call 911. Lee said she went to the hospital for treatment of a ruptured eardrum after the incident. The attack occurred when Lee pulled into a parking lot and blocked Sheffield as he was trying to leave. He then got out of his car with a gun and approached Lee to tell her to move. The confrontation escalated to violence when Sheffield smacked the cell phone out of Lee's hand and she retaliated with a punch. Sheffield then hit Lee multiple times in the face and upper body until she stumbled to the ground. Braxton Martin, owner of the high and tight barbershop in Speakeasy where Sheffield worked, said he was fired. The upgraded charges against Sheffield uh, were sent to the Dallas County District Attorney's Office for presentation to a grand jury. Man, I tell you what. 
when Dallas police are involved in anything, after looking at how they dealt with the Botham John case, I can tell you, I have no confidence in the Dallas police, just like I don't have none in Chicago. Dallas is right up there too, of doing crappy ass work. He should have been charged with a hell of a lot more than a misdemeanor, and they know it. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.